All right, so as we have people coming in and introducing themselves, I'll go ahead and get started. So again, thank you so much for taking time on your busy Friday to join us in talking about the Burnout Prevention Project. And so we are so excited. This is a new initiative that has really been birthed out of, I guess, a year of research and conversations. And so today, just to give you a agenda for what we're going to talk about, there are really four key things that we're going to cover. So first and foremost, we feel that it's really important to talk about what is burnout? Um, the second thing is we're going to talk about why is burnout a problem in our society today? And then the third thing we're going to talk about is what is what is one big solution in alleviating burnout? And then last but not least, of course, we want to share how you can get involved with us and where do we go from here? And so before going too far, I have to share that I have an amazing team. So here's a picture of me and, and Grace and Abby, and I'm gonna give Grace in a moment an opportunity to introduce herself as well. Um, but we are all in charge of this Burnout Prevention Project initiative. And so a little bit more about me to start with. For those of you who don't know me again, my name is Kelsey Buell, and I am a certified talent optimization consultant. And so what that means is um, through the company called the Predictive Index, I actually took a week and was certified in how to help individuals align their true God-given talents with the work that they're doing. And so alignment in your job is so important. And just a little bit more about my background. So I spent a number of years in the recruiting world. And so after recruiting and interviewing thousands of people, what I found is a lot of people are unhappy in their jobs. And so I'm very passionate about helping people use their true gifts in their jobs and making sure that they're, they're living up to their true talents. And so that's a little bit more about me. I want to turn it over to Grace to share a little bit more about who she is. Yeah. Hi, everyone. My name is Grace Lang, and I am the creative content strategist for the Burnout Prevention Project. And I'm really excited to be here with you guys. And I'm just really passionate about helping people, especially women in business, um, enjoy their work and find fulfillment in everything that they're doing. And I've gained experience through having multiple internships and jobs. And I'm just, we all have to work so much, right? And we might as well enjoy it. So I'm just really passionate about finding, giving people joy in their work. And I also want to introduce you guys to Abby, um, the other lady on the screen here. And she is our marketing intern. And we're, she's helping us with social media and a bunch of other content creation. And we're really excited to have her on our team. And so before, like Kelsey said, before we can kind of start um, this whole presentation, we need to talk about what actually is burnout. And so burnout, um, the dictionary definition of burnout is a state of emotional, physical, and mental exhaustion. So when you're feeling overwhelmed, emotionally drained, and unable to meet the life's demands, and your mind, your heart, and your body are literally just done. And maybe you even feel bogged down or paralyzed and like you can't get ahead. And I know we all struggle with stuff like this. And so um, we're actually going to take a poll now. And if Kelsey wants to pull that up, so go ahead and I think she's going to share that. go. So you all should see on your screen, we have a quick poll that we'd love for you to take. All right. I think we'll give you 10 more seconds here. Okay, so I'm really 
really excited to share with you the results of this quick poll. I, we were kind of taking a gamble, but it's just as expected. So when I share these results here, you should all see on your screen that 33 of you said, yes, I have definitely experienced burnout. And four of you said, maybe, I think I have, but I'm not too sure. And so the goal here was just to recognize the concept that we all experience burnout on some level. And so really, I like to think of it as we all have our own burnout story, right? We've all felt like this. I found this GIF online and I thought this very accurately describes the way that we feel sometimes at work and in life. And so first and foremost, everyone at every level experiences burnout. And so I want you to maybe even close your eyes and think about a woman in your life who you deeply care about. A woman who you know is running a million miles an hour. Maybe she's in sales and has a lot of pressure to hit her goals. Maybe she never feels like she's doing enough. Or, you know, maybe she never, never even takes time to eat or would never even dream of taking time out of her day to get a massage or go to the spa and take care of herself. This person might be someone who is susceptible to being what I call a human giver instead of a human being. A human giver is someone who has the contagious belief that there's this moral obligation to give every ounce of your humanity to others, no matter what the cost is to you. Men, this woman could be your wife, this could be your sister, or maybe an employee. Women, this might be one of your close friends, or maybe it's you. The type of woman I just described is, is myself, but I know I'm not alone. I have always been in a role where I've had to have a bias to action. Meaning, if I don't feel like I'm checking off boxes and moving ahead fast enough, I'm not successful enough and I'm not doing enough. So I want to touch on the pandemic's effect on individuals in the workplace and specifically women. So COVID has really had a negative impact on our workforce, both for men and women, but especially for women. Back in August and September alone, there were 216,000 men that left the workforce, either by being laid off or other reasons, but there were 865,000 women that is four times as many women leaving the workforce as men. Even worse, women in the workforce are at an all-time low. We have not had this few women working in the workforce since 1988. And so I want you to do me a favor and put this in the chat. Take a guess at in the last year, how many women do you believe have left the workforce? Put a number in the chat in the last year. So from about February uh, 2020 through, we'll say through February 2021. So I'm looking for a, a number. So is it a thousand women? Is it a hundred thousand women? How many women have left the workforce? Grace, what are you seeing? Yeah, I'm seeing some people get really close. So we have three million, two million, 
um, 500,000 and just in the millions. So they're getting close. So the answer is 2.3 million women left the workforce in 2020. Now, of course, we have to take into consideration layoffs and a lot of different things, but that is a really high number. And so not only are there a lot of mental health problems to consider with women in the workforce, but it's also really expensive for our businesses to lose their high achieving women. So I wanna just quick touch on the cost of turnover. Um, there are a lot of costs that come with losing an employee. The statistic is actually, it will cost you anywhere from 30% to 120% of that employee's strat that strategy, not strategy, salary. Um, so anywhere from 30% to 120% of their salary, depending on how you calculate the costs. And so I want you to think anywhere from 13,000 to, you know, a few hundred thousand dollars to lose an employee. So that's really devastating, right? To think about all of these women that have left the workforce. Also, you know, men, I know 2020 was a hard year for all of it, for all of us, but specifically when it comes to turnover and, and the workforce, we want to think about, okay, so if burnout is an issue, what is one big solution? So we actually took some time to do a survey back in January and we went out and we asked a lot of individuals some questions about burnout. And there was one glaring statistic that we keep coming back to. That statistic is 88%. What 88% stands for is women and men, the majority being women, agreed that if I have ongoing mentorship in the workplace, I will stay at my job longer. So that was the question we asked, if you have ongoing mentorship in the workplace, will you stay longer? And so we found that there's this really strong correlation between professional development and mentorship and preventing burnout or preventing people from leaving their jobs. And so when it comes to this solution, mentorship is very broad. I want to refer to a, a concept that is used a lot in the education system. That concept is called the marigold effect. So there's something magical about the marigold plant, and some of you maybe have heard this. If you plant a marigold beside another plant, such as a vegetable, that vegetable will grow much stronger and be much more healthy because it's encouraged by this marigold right next to it. So I have to admit 2020 and, and into 2021, going off on my own has been very difficult. Uh, yesterday, I actually celebrated my one year anniversary and it's been this incredible journey, but it also has come with incredible challenges. And so when it comes to this marigold effect, this concept of having at least one person or maybe a couple people in your life who simply are there for you to be a sounding board and help you grow, that's what mentorship means to the Burnout Prevention Project. Now, there are a lot of people on this call who have been marigolds for me. Um, one in particular is someone by the name of Carrie Dunn. Um, now, Carrie is someone who I've known for a long time, um, but in this past year, she has offered me tons of free coaching and advice and support and I get a little bit um, tongue-tied even talking about it but just having someone like Carrie next to me and able to bounce ideas off of in a candid space she pushed me to to new heights she's helped me believe in myself 
she's helped me do things that were possible even when I felt like they were impossible. And so our mission at the Burnout Prevention Project is to help high achieving women, those women who are running a million miles an hour, who are too busy to take care of themselves, do what's possible even when it feels impossible. And so this type of woman might be someone who is maybe in a sales oriented role, someone who's stretched to their limit, someone who has maybe this, this thought process in their mind of always having to win others over, might also be someone we're finding a lot of um, people in the donor development space or the financial services industry. Um, a lot of those types of people that are constantly having to work with people and cultivate relationships, those types of women are, are naturally attracted to the type of work we do because they are constantly having to hit goals and metrics. And so not only are we wanting to provide value to individuals, but we also feel that if we can really help business leaders, our mission is to help them retain their valuable high achieving women. And so our, our target market when it comes to leaders is our men and women who are at an organization where maybe they don't have the resources or the time or the knowledge in how to mentor and develop their high achieving women. And so you might ask, okay, up until this point, you've talked about all of these things. They're kind of big picture, right? Um, and so how, how are we going to do this? How are we going to be um, those, those mentors and those coaches for women in the workplace? And so there are really three key ways that we're starting with. We're starting small, but we want to think big. And so the three key ways are business retreats. So we have quarterly options and full day options focused on building resilience and preventing burnout. We also have group coaching opportunities where our goal is to create a safe space where women can talk about the challenges that they're having, whether it be with a coworker or a manager in a safe environment and get feedback on strategies on how to combat those challenges. And then the last piece, which I'm most excited about, is peer advisory groups. And so peer advisory means having kind of that group coaching setting, but on an ongoing basis. So the difference between group coaching and the peer advisory is that the group coaching programs are going to have a start date and an end date, whereas peer advisory is is you committing to be a part of an ongoing group that maybe meets monthly or quarterly, where again, we're getting together and we're talking about what are the challenges that you're having, what's dragging you down and could possibly cause you burnout. So you'll notice at the core of all three of these concepts is connection and mentorship. And we also have a lot of content we're dedicated to doing the research and coming up with the solutions. And so I'm going to turn it over to Grace. Grace is going to tell us, now that we're nearing the end of our 30 minutes, I think we have about 10 minutes left, Grace is going to tell all of you three key ways that you can get involved with us right away. Yeah, so we have some really exciting things going. And the first way you can get involved with us is to follow us on social media. We, we want to get involved with you guys and we want to hear what you have going on and we want you to give us feedback and interact with us. And secondly, we, we have programs for individuals. And so we have this program called Six Weeks to a More Resilient You. And this program is for women who are high achieving, and who really just want a group of individuals to connect with. And in this six week program, like I said, you get, a, you get an opportunity, opportunity to connect with other high achieving women. And it's a hybrid between a couple one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, three 90 minute group sessions, and a women inspiring women panel, and a bunch more things. And 
a couple things that we're going to discuss in this program is how to identify your biggest roadblock and also just how to overcome that and rethinking what burnout actually is. In addition, we are going to discuss overcoming how to overcome perfectionism and how to recognize and abolish your imposter syndrome and really how to give yourself more grace in the workplace. And lastly, on the other side, on the business side of things, we are opening up a burnout, burnout prevention series. And so we will come into your business and facilitate a tailored program for your business and specifically for the women in your business to help them stay engaged and prevent burnout. So if either of these interests you, uh, we're following up with an email after this program and we'll give, we want your feedback and you'll have the opportunity to apply for these programs. And now I'll turn it back to Kelsey and she's gonna tell you how to apply and if you're interested in any of these things. Thank you so much, Grace, for sharing that. And I just wanna take a quick step back and say, the reason why we're doing this webinar today is because we want your feedback. We want your ideas. We wanna know how we can take this concept of burnout prevention and mentorship and professional development and bring it not only to you as an individual, but also to your business. Uh, we're just really looking for ideas right now. And so at the very least, we would love to connect with you um, after this webinar and just really hear your thoughts and ideas on the Burnout Prevention Project. And so as Grace mentioned, I did wanna touch real quick on specifically our six week program coming up. So for a limited time, we now have applications open for this program and this program will not be the right fit for everyone. Um, it really is for someone who is in a certain mindset in their career. So someone that's a doer, someone that's willing to collaborate with other women and someone who is uh, willing to take advice and take action. Um, so when we follow up with you after today, we are going to include a couple links in that email. The first link is going to be a link to the application. Now it's nothing rigorous. It's 10 key questions that we want you to answer just so that we can get to know you a little bit better and understand how this program may or may not be a really good fit for you at this time. And then after we receive those applications, our goal is to try to connect with those women who are interested in, in the program by doing a 20 minute discovery call. Uh, we're calling this call, What's Dragging You Down? So the goal of this call is really just to, we're gonna give you a five minute assessment that will help you understand how you're being pushed or pulled in natural or unnatural ways in your job. Um, so you'll get that for free just for applying and in that call we can decide whether or not this program might be a good fit for you. And so that six week program is all about if you are a really bu busy business professional and you think, gosh, I can't add another thing to my plate. That, that is why we are doing this program is to help alleviate the busyness and to help talk through how can you eliminate some of the things in your job? How can you set more boundaries? How can you build more resilience? How can you take more risks? And so this program is really all about that. And so then the second thing um, I would just say again is if this program isn't the right fit for you, that's no problem. We really just want to get your feedback and understand how we can bring more professional development and, and mentorship into your organization. And so at the end of the day, I hope that today you learned a little bit more about burnout and just remember to be a marigold, um, be someone who is there as a sounding board for those in your organization because there are so many people in our world that are feeling burned out. Thank you so much for your time today. I, I do, I, I do want to say if, if you want to hang on, it's 1226, so we have a few minutes left. Um, we are happy to take questions, whether you want to ask them in the chat or ask them over the screen.
Any questions? As I mentioned, we'll be following up with an email. We would love to connect with you and hear more about your feedback on our new initiative and what we have going on. And we hope that you learned something new and enjoyed your time with us today. Thank you, ladies. Thanks, Sarah. Thank you. Yes. Have a great day, everyone.